god. <laughs> hey, I saw that. I saw you knock over those swords. You picked that up. Hi everyone, welcome to my corner of the internet. My name is Gwen, and today we're back with some more of the Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. Um I'm a busy man, what is it? Last time we finally made our way to the arena, and today we're uh, we're gonna talk to Owen and see uh, you know if we might uh, you know, I don't know, be able to get into uh Get into a fight or two. Also, there was this piece of paper that I really want to read, so I'm going to pick this up. Um, a letter from Branwen. Owen, I know you don't believe me. I know you think I'm just some stupid kid who doesn't know what she's talking about. But the truth is the truth. You are my father. Oh, okay. One night with a scullery maid is all it takes. Or maybe your father deserted you too and never taught you the basic lessons of life. Anyway, the past is long forgotten. What matters now is that you come to terms with the truth. I am your daughter, and I will join the arena as a combatant. Oh. Maybe someday when I'm Grand Champion, you'll see that we have the same blood. The same tenacity. Until then, until then day comes. I'll train every moment of every day. All I want, all I ever wanted, was to make you proud. Your loving daughter, Branwen. I'm just gonna hang on to this. I, I see you're not up, you're not very happy about the news or something. You just you know crumpled that up and tossed it over there. Um, yellow team champion. So are, are, is the arena uh, based on teams? Stop talking already. Yeah. Okay. You're. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say Branwen. Uh, they, they they they've, they've tried to obscure the uh, like uh, obfuscate. Sorry. Um, the um, the name to, to to trick us. You like us now. Uh, you, you like us now, and uh, you, you like us now, as well as you. Busy man, what is it? All right, let's talk. I don't know who you are, friend, but you've got about ten seconds to tell me what you're doing in my bloodworks before I lop your arms off. I'd like to see you try. I'll be going now, or I want to be a combatant. Oh, I want to be a combatant, all right. You what? You want to be a combatant? <laughs> Look at you! My granny could beat you, and she's dead! Wait, you're serious, aren't you? What is it with you people? You walk in, want to be combatants, and your entrails end up decorating my red room. All right, it's your funeral. Welcome to the arena, you filthy pit dog. You're free to fight so long as you know the rules of competition. Now let me give you your battle raiment. It's the uniform of all arena combatants. Do you want a light raiment or a heavy raiment? I'll take the light raiment. Although the heavy raiment would be f interesting. Hmm. <laughs> Part of me is actually like, hey, well, you could train heavy. Like, nothing's stopping you. In fact, it might actually help with your, your leveling a bit if you wanted to, like, grab two quick levels in endurance to boost your HP long term. But I've... Yeah, because I'm like, well, light, though. Light's kind of the, the skill we want to go for. Um... I don't even know why. Like, out of nowhere, I've just got this sudden urge to, like... Let's play with the other skills a bit. Maybe it's because, like, I, I've... Had to avoid uh, heavy armor this entire time. And now I'm just kind of like, mm, what if we just played with it a little bit? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get, like, destroyed if I go with heavy. Because I've already got a little bit of skill with the light. So, yeah, we'll go with the light. A light raiment, huh? You sure? I figured you for the heavy raiment type. You know, hide behind a skin of steel. Hmm. Okay, then. Here. Put that on. See if it fits okay. When you're ready for a match, I'll be waiting. You want to fight? You talk to me. All right, then? Sure. All right. I need to hear about all kinds of stuff. Um, the first thing that jumped out to me, though, was uh, uh, Gaiden Shinji, uh, which was the name of a character that we uh, got a quote from right in uh, when we first played Arena. The 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 the, the, the first uh, the first uh, screen uh, of Arena is a quote from um, the Blade Master Gaiden Shinji. So I I've got to ask about him. The first Arena Blade Master. Best damn warrior that ever lived. Served to the Order of Diagna. Got killed fighting the orcs. Azura rest his soul. All right, um... Battle Matron. That's Isabel Andronicus, crabby old woman who sits over there. She's dear to me. So if you wrong her in any way, 
I'll rip your damn liver out. Um, oh, I, I, I think it's rich coming from him. It's like, oh, she's all, she's all cranky and stuff. Meanwhile, like, his reputation is, oh, he's all cranky. Maybe just everyone in the arena is cranky, which, you know, would make total sense because it's like, we, we're, we're at this place where we're all dying and we're just constantly killing and death, you know, probably not, probably not a pleasant place. That's me, genius. Down here, I'm the boss. I don't care if the Emperor's ghost is floating around. In the blood works, he answers to me. Uh-huh, okay. Um... Grand Champion. The reigning Grand Champion is Agranacro Malog. His fighting name is the Great Prince. He's an orc. Well, half-orc, actually, or so they say. The important thing is he's been Grand Champion for nearly a decade. Why? Because nobody's had the guts to face him. The Great Prince is unbeatable. At least that's what the people of Cyrodiil have come to believe. Maybe it's time someone stepped into that arena and proved them wrong. Wait, a decade of nobody facing you? How do you know he's unbeatable? Like, I'm sure he's weakened a lot in a decade. Um, I'm not sure how, uh... Orcs operate in uh, Elder Scrolls. I know elves have really long lives, so I, I, I'd be I'd be scared of an elf. You know, ten years. I'm like, oh, yeah, they're not gonna have degraded a whole lot. But if he's half orc and like half human, yeah, age might hit him a little bit harder. Like ten years, yeah, maybe he's not in his prime. Maybe he's 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 gone down a little bit. I don't know. Uh, what are the rules for uh, for a competition? You fight for the blue team. You fight against the yellow team. In order to fight in the arena, you must wear an arena battle raiment. The battle raiment covers your entire body. You can use your own helmet, shield, and weapon, so choose those items wisely. The battle raiment's already enchanted, so you can't muck with it. But aside from that, anything goes. Magic, stealth, whatever you need to win. You can compete in the arena any day from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Just come to me, tell me you're ready for a match, and away you'll go. Got it? Good. If you actually manage to win a fight, don't get any ideas about looting your opponent's corpse. That's strictly forbidden. Okay. Well, I'm not interested anymore. I was like, ah, sweet, all, all this loot. All right. Um, what's the reward, though? Like, nowhere has anyone mentioned anything but reward. And I feel like to Alexis, that's pretty important. Like... I saw this as a, a, a money-making thing, but if I can't loot the bodies, what do I get out of this? Like, what's the point of fighting? If I go ready for a match without having put on the, the raiment, is he gonna get all upset with me? Ready? You call that ready? You're not even wearing your battle raiment! Don't talk to me again until you're suited up, you disrespectful maggot! Alright, let's, uh, let's go ahead and put on our, uh, our crap. Um, Arena Light, uh, Raymond. Fortify Personality. That's an interesting buff. And Fortify Athletics. I suppose Personality makes sense because, uh, Personality actually governs some, I will say, light, we'll say, quote-unquote, light armor, uh, type skills. I do like the, uh, the armor is actually better than, uh, our regular armor. Actually, yeah, it is. I mean, I could just switch to this and use this everywhere. Light armor... Yeah, this actually does... Uh, it's a little bit heavier, but it, it provides two extra points of armor over my... Kvass Quirus, yeah. Uh, oh, except I don't get Greaves. Right? Wait, or the boots. Okay, so never mind, it's not- it's- it's not better. It's not gooder. Um... Okay. Robe of deflection. Shield 5% on self. I wonder how that would have- Oh, never mind. It doesn't even have an armor value. I was just kind of curious. I'm like, how much uh, armor would uh, th that provide? Having a shield effect of 5%. Probably negligible. Would that even show up under this uh, shield? We're over encumbered. You gave me something that over encumbered me. Darn it! I can't go into the, the, the arena over encumbered. Give me a second. Alright, just made me a, a ton of potions and we are now, um, under that limit. So, 
Let's quick save and you let's... haven't run home to mama yet, huh? That's a good sign. So, you ready for a match, or do you just need some information? Uh, let's let's go. All right, maggot. Looks like you're suited up in your battle raiment and all set to go. The red room is just over there. When you're ready to get eviscerated, just head up the ramp to the arena. Good luck, and may Azura have mercy on your soul. Um, wait, the ramp. Um, oh, oh, right, right, we'll, we'll follow the, the, the quest marker. The quest marker will tell us to go up here. That's right, across the front, over to the other side. That's kind of weird, I feel like you probably want it to... Oh, I, I hear the cheers! Oh, that's why they wanted to, us to come this way, I guess. You must be... You must bet on a match in order to enter the arena. Speak with the arena gatekeeper between 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. to gain entrance. Oh. What time is it? It's 8! Okay, so it's not that way, it's uh... Where's the ramp? Ramp? I must be blind. Oh, right here! This is it. Oh. Oh, that's just- oh, that's uh... That's gruesome. Why- why are there uh... Ah, uh, darn! I feel like I was about to answer my question. I'm like, why is there like so much blood along the sides here and stuff? Is that like from people trying to escape or something? I don't know. Good people of the Imperial City, welcome to the arena. For this match, we've got some fresh meat. Two brand new pit dogs, so let's not waste any time. Let the battle begin. Um, so he said stealth, but it doesn't look like stealth is gonna help me much. Oh, that, that, that's a neat effect. Where it's got the... It, it, uh... It's, um, when you score a hit, they, uh, they, they cheer. Ow. Ow. I'm trying to do the disarm. Come on. Come on. Ooh. <laughs> running, running, running. And since you have your weapon out, Let's I can probably run in. faster than you. <laughs> uh, th now, what did they mean by stealth? Like, I, can I guess if you've got, like, chameleon and stuff. Oh. Now, wh why don't they cheer when, uh, the, when the other person hits? Oh! Oh! That was cool! Oh, because she hit me with a hand-to-hand -hand strike while my fatigue was down! Okay! You know what would be cool? It'd be cool if uh, the character would pick up their sword again. Ah! Where, where did you go? Oh, there ah! you are. What the? Where are you? Wow! That's kind of that's kind of fun. Like she's fast, so she like gets behind me, and I don't even. Oh! Are you crouching down in front of me? I don't even see you. I love that. Even though she's down to her fist, I'm actually more scared of her now than I was before. Don't quite feel like uh, there's enough voices to necessarily um, create that sort of sound, but um, okay, interesting. What, 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 what have we got down here? Huh? Well, that was an interesting experience. Um, okay, hold up, quick save. What happens if you try to loot the body? 
Arena combatants may not loot the corpses of their fallen opponents. Ah. I was kind of hoping it would like at least let me try and then like someone would get upset with me. Um. Oh, well, I, okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, I, I think I'm starting to make sense of this. After the fight, the winner's gonna walk out. What, are they running their hands along the walls? I like to think that it's just one person with, like, really long arms. With, with their arms out to, like, on either side of the wall. And then they're pushing on the door to open it. So it makes sense to have the blood on the, um, on this side because, you know, after the fight, you're gonna open the door and you're gonna walk in. It doesn't make sense to have the same blood pattern on the on this side though because you're not going to be so bloodied when you're leaving the door this side so it makes sense to have this pattern on the door uh out of the arena but not that pattern into the arena so yeah i could see i could see wh wh why there's blood here is that you you know you're, you're coming back in bloodied from your fight um okay so it's it's the blood of the victors um and then i guess here you could just be like ah oh, we're just you know, they got like blood all over themselves and they're just trying to like like just rub it off like yeah like you might even have like a, ta uh, a tally here like someone's keeping keeping count of how many wins they've got so they come over and they started like marking lines saying that ah, I've killed this many basin of renewal you wash the grime of battle from your body and feel completely rejuvenated all right and that makes sense and, you know after you walk out you come here and that's why there this area tends to be more clean it's because you could use uh, your basin of renewal Oh, there's something written. The best techniques are passed on by the survivors. I mean, it is a very dumb and obvious quote um, that is at the very beginning of Arena. Um, that's by uh, right there. Yeah, by Shinji uh, Gaiden Jinji, Blade Master, First Era, nine. What is it? Nine forty 940 or nine forty-six? Whatever. It's the opening quote from from Arena. Um, which, you know, at the time I read it, and I was like, okay, cool, quote. But then I actually thought about it, and I'm like, duh. <laughs> the best techniques are passed on by the survivors. Yeah. Maybe that's the point. Is that it's just, like, obvious wisdom? I don't know. Um, all right, so I guess we'll go back and talk. Now, we better get some reward for this. Because, uh, hey. Hey, hey, we, we fought. We fought there. Man, what is it? Uh, I want reward. I, I, di I just, I just, I just entertain people. I, I killed someone that I'm not crazy about <laughs> like now that I'm really thinking about it, I'm like I don't like this by the nine divines you did it you actually won you ain't so bad after all pit dog you may even survive enough matches to advance in rank here kid this is your payout for the victory there's more where that came from if you can keep on winning now go unwind before your next fight all right what time is it Oh, it's, it's 11 p.m. So we, we can't do any more um, uh, battling because uh, it's only, what, every, um, between 9 to 9. So we need to go do something else anyways. Um, do I have to carry this around with me, though? Can, what, can I leave it here in the raiment ca cabinet? Arena light raiment. Actually, wait, can I take these? They have no value, right? So I'm assuming that if they've got no, um, oh, if interesting, they both have the same uh, enchantments on them. The heavy raiment and the, the light raiment. They both fortify personality and athletics. Maybe that's just because that's what I initially chose and the enchantments are chosen when you make your initial choice. I don't know. Um, but I'm assuming I can just drop my, uh, Arena Light Raymond in there? Yeah, there we go. I can come back and get it uh, next time. Rather than carrying that around, I'm only going to be using it in the arena, right? So, makes sense for me to just keep that stored there. Yeah, that works for me. Um, okay, so we are done with the arena for now. It's, uh, it's nighttime, so... Whoa. Ah, the arena lockbox. Very hard. Uh, I don't think I can pick that. Uh, I, I do have lockpicks, though, right? I do... I did... I did acquire a number of them. Um, 32 lockpicks. I am seen right now, but I'm not seen from this angle. Uh, and I'm not, I'm not doing the, um... Hmm, no, no. Alright. I'm like, I'm not gonna waste my lockpicks on, uh, on very hard. Uh, repair hammers, though. 
Uh, I do need to repair some things. Hey, there we go. Didn't, didn't even break a thing. Alright, so let's go back into, um, the Imperial City. Uh, and, uh, let, let's rob a place. <laughs> I'm like, we, we've got to wait for the next day, right? Before we can, um, go do our... Uh, Mages Guild, before we can follow up on the Mages Guild. So, I'm like, well, we're, we're in the town, it's the middle of the night. Why don't we go rob a place? I mean, that's, that's kind of what we do, right? Um, and if we get caught, then, uh, we can, uh... We can, we can, that, that'll be an entire day right there that we just, we've just spent. We've, okay, where, where am I? I don't, I, the arena, I should have gone towards Market District. Alright, we'll head over towards Market District. Um, is there anything in particular I would want to steal? <laughs> let's think, let's try, maybe let's think about being a little bit more targeted here. Like, uh, what kind of thing would I want to steal? Maybe... I feel like all the good shops will be, um, locked up tight. Like, probably with, like, very hard locks. I feel like right now, with our current skill set, we probably actually want to hit residential. You know, um... But I don't want to go into, like, the poor parts, but all the rich parts probably have better locks. So it's like this weird thing where it's like... <sighs> I, I, I've got to battle with the, the whole idea of being, um... You know, of being a ethical thie a thief, um, where it's like I don't want to—I don't want to steal from the poor, but the poor have easier locks. <laughs> um, Elven Gardens. Uh, you you gotta have some places to live right here, right? Yeah, Geem. Uh, like this is probably a nicer place, right? I'm guessing. Well, let's go ahead and take a look. We'll take a look. We'll we'll scope out the. Uh, the area, see, uh, oh, hello, guard. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just sneaking around suspiciously. Um, okay, here's a door. Very easy. Geem, uh, J J house? Alright, um, it's a very easy lock. Okay, let, let, let's just do this one. Let's do this one manually. I should have clicked. I should have clicked. I should have clicked. I've just got to, I'm feeling it out. Sorry. Start it! There we go. Alright. We're in the house. Let's loot it. Um... And then we'll have to... Oh, we can fast travel now, so I can go, uh... Darn it. Very hard, uh, on the chest. So we'll just have to, like, steal what's out in the open. Um... We'll have to go hit up, uh, our, uh... Our fence, buddy. We're gonna steal food, I guess. I've got to fence my stolen foods! Um... That's, that's really all there is here! I'm stealing all their food! Darn it! <laughs> I don't want to steal food, I want to steal, like, valuables! Food is, like, necessary for life. I'm... By stealing food, I'm indirectly killing them. I don't want to do that. Okay. Alright, one. Darn it. Darn it! There we go. Okay, so... I don't have to wait for my uh, pick to drop back down before I click. I, I can my my see that's what I kept doing is I kept waiting for my pick to drop down and I, by doing so I was waiting too long. Um, but it made sense to me because I'm like, well, if the lock's gonna open and my pick's still up, it's gonna like break or something. I don't know. It it made sense in my head at the time, but all right. Um, calipers, yarn. A sack of with calipers. Um gink ginkgo leaf and a ladle. Um repair hammer, thank you. Silver tankard. It's not worth it. Cupboard, gold. Very hard chest. Ah, all I'm <laughs> yep, that, that's like the only thing of value here. Oh, I've got to find like a, I've got to find like a real rich person's house here. I'm getting some repair hammers out of it though, so that's, that's good, right? Um, like, yeah, buddy doesn't have a whole lot worth stealing. Like maybe he does in those those very hard chests, but um, I don't feel like I'm uh, 
I, I don't think I'm, I'm ready to tackle those just yet. Um, but yeah, so let's uh, let's uh, let's just do. Uh, maybe we'll hit up another house or two. Well, they're gonna do some uh, game. Uh, Jasane's private quarters. Now he's probably in there. So do we want to? Uh... Oh, we we have an artist here. Okay, sure. Let's. Uh... Darn it. There we go. Oh, he's not home. Or either that, or he's sleeping around the corner. I mean, he just owns two beds. Blacksmith's apron. So is Buddy a blacksmith? So he's an artist and a blacksmith. From, 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 we'll say, like, what I can tell. So he's got his dishes, his clothes. Yeah, so, uh, why, why else would you have a blacksmith's apron? Wait, wait. Is this considered an owned bed or not? You cannot sleep while trespassing. Okay, okay. Now, Geem... Where is he? This is like 2 a.m. Buddy should be home. We've been through his entire house. Is this the... No. I was gonna say, is this the place where we, um... Did we have a quest here already? It's got me wondering if there was a, a quest there that I've forgotten, because there was that one where I had to go, like, um... Oh, the, the vampires, right? The vampire hunters were all like, ah, those vampires. I can't remember where that was. I don't think it was there. I, I remember the door to the house being, like, on this side. Like, uh, uh facing, like, the, uh, the inner wall. Um, Wumik's house. An average lock. Do we have a... Uh, uh, that's a hard lock. Average. Hard. Okay, let's go into... Uh, let's try going into uh, one of the average ones. Uh, hopefully that will... Uh, maybe get to get us some better loot. One. Darn it. Darn it. Two. Three. All right. All right, we gotta be quiet. Um, alright, so, so far we've broken into a house with an average lock, and... Is it any more impressive in the loot department? We will find out. Um, there's food. Wines. Nothing in that sack. So far? Nothing- I don't even see it. wait, was there a chest in here? Okay, so, parchment paint palette. So, okay, maybe, maybe, yeah. Painting like we, we've got uh, we've got some artists like some people who like to uh, maybe paint in their free time Yeah, um Okay, so the basement's gonna be easy It, it does make me wonder though Why is your basement locked? Like, you have an outside door, and then you have another lock on your basement. It, I don't know, it just makes me wonder. I'm like, why, why, why so many interior locks? Is, is it, is it like, is that your bathroom? Wait, whoa, a master of acrobatics can jump off the surface of water? Okay, that's cool. I gotta start jumping everywhere now. Alright, uh, I don't think, yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think Buddy's... Sleeping in his basement, I can be a little bit noisier here. You know, f famous last words. Um. Okay. I, I guess I'm gonna be fencing food. Uh, a hard chest. Uh. Oh, is this one of their paintings? Perhaps. Oh yes, another lockpick. I'll I'll need those to replace my uh. Wait, 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 wasn't there something about paintbrushes? Yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to try something, uh, an experiment with paintbrushes, so I, I'm, I'm gonna collect a couple more of those. Yeah, I don't think there's, uh... Too much here worth, uh... Worth grabbing. Alright, uh, I guess we'll grab the flower. Like, I'm hoping that the, the, uh, like the food items that we're grabbing will be enough, um... 
enough say fenced stuff so that we can um, progress on with uh, with uh, the uh, the thieves guild quests because that's how it works right is uh, you've got to um, fence things so that you can be um, considered for the 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 better quest right one darn it darn it. All right, um, cupboard, nothing, uh, the meat I'll leave. Huh. Well, so far I don't see him. I'm guessing he's through that door. Uh, an iron longsword. Hmm. I'm gonna stick with the short, uh, short blade. I realize that, uh, the blades are both rolled into one skill, but I still feel like, you know, it's still a, uh, it's still a role-playing game, uh, and even though the mechanics are no longer uh, facilitating me role-playing my character, ooh, yeah, let's be careful here. Um, okay, so he just throws his clothes on the floor. Okay, good to know. I'm just gonna come over here. I'm just gonna check. Oh, darn it! Very hard chest. Don't mind me. Uh, desk. So you like reading? I don't know what you do, but I can't tell by uh, stuff I found, but you do seem to like reading here. Fishing waders. I wonder if that um, is that a pastime or are you uh, do you uh, do you fish? Do you? I wonder. All right. Uh. Well, yeah. We'll head out. But yeah. So like, even though the game's not facilitating, um, it's 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 actually removed mechanics that help me role play a character. Uh, the way that I feel like the character should be. Um, I still want to sort of hang on to the idea of that character. And that character does not... Even though we basically used long blades for like the the back end of... Um, actually, wait, that, that that's actually interesting. Because I'm thinking about him like... In Arena, we went hard with the... Um, the Saber, right? Um, which I... Pretty sure would be kind of considered a long blade, even though I don't think it was within the, the uh, within arena. But in Daggerfall, we uh, we went to uh, we were on short blades. Um, Morrowind, we started things off with short blade, but then we switched to long blades after we maxed short, if I recall correctly. Meaning, yeah, we could just say she was dabbling with long blades, but we'll say ultimately in the end, you know, she uh, determined she 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 can use them all right, but yeah, she's not maybe the biggest fan of long blades. And so, as a personal preference for the character, she's just going to prefer short blades. Um, all right, let's. Darn it! There we go. All right, so another house. We're gonna oh, we're gonna on that that um, crap. Is that a major skill? Security is not, right? It's not, it's not. Uh, yes, it's not. Oh, we're so close. We're so close to leveling it up. And there's like, no, there's nothing worth stealing here. All right, this, this should do it. Going into the, this basement should give us the, the skill up. Security skill increased. I feel like I'm breaking more picks than if I just auto-attempted. I mean, I, I think it probably, like, evens out. Because, like, I, I'm screwing up more on easies, but then I feel like with, like, say, average locks and stuff, that it would, uh... Using the auto attempt would actually be, uh, better. Um... Ginseng. Oh, there's just a random crate on a shelf. Okay, another paint palette. Um... What is it with your mundane homes and your mundane items? All right, fine. I mean, you you broke decided to break into like a residential place. Like, if you want the good stuff, you're probably. I mean, I don't know. I, I would think that maybe they would have a little bit more character. Oh, there we go. A gold nugget. Finally, something of some sort of value. Um, like you think that they'd have some things, uh, you know that uh, would. Uh, Um, 
I guess offer some character to ooh. All right, let's be very quiet. Don't knock anything over. Check the sack. Who keeps quills in a sack? Okay, we got leather gauntlets and steel arrows. I'll take the the arrows. Um Actually, what, what what am I what am I using right now? All right, we're using chainmail. Never mind. I'll, I'll keep the chainmail. Actually, wait. Isn't chainmail spelt like M A I L L E? Ah, eh, whatever. <laughs> I mean, I I always spelt it this way. Um. Gold, take the ring. Okay, so there, there were some valuable things here. Uh, what's this book up there? The Argonian Account, Book 2. Okay, you know what? I think it's about time that I, uh... <sighs> I've got to put together the thumbnail. <laughs> it's, it's, it's been, what, 40? We're on, what, 42? We've been, uh, we've, um... We've gone f on long enough without uh, reading any books here in Oblivion. Um... We scratched his nose. Oh, it's cheek, sorry. Um, alright, so let's go ahead and, uh... Yeah, let's get out of here. Alright, don't mind me, I'm just sneaking away. Uh, what time is it? So, 5.32 a.m. So, that, that was a, a, a good night of, uh, sneaking around, being mischievous. <laughs> yes, that's, that's the way we, we will frame it. Um... Okay, I'm going to uh, head to the uh, Arcane University uh, so that I can uh, fast travel to. Um, oh, is it Bruma? I'm st I'm still I am still learning um, all the different places and all their names. Um, so yeah, we will go to. I, let me see. Is it Bruma? It is Bruma. Uh, so that we can fast travel up to Bruma. Um, actually, you know what? Imperial City, when you, when I'm inside the city itself, I think that should count as close enough for fast traveling. Hey, right? No, 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 no. Maybe? Okay. This one time, I... Maybe not. Okay. For now, I'm going to hold to my rule that I must do so from a Mage's Guild location. I don't think I did that last time, did I? Did I? I don't. I don't remember. Uh, oh, wait, wait, where did where did I teleport from? I teleported from somewhere to Frostcrag. I was at the Arcane University, wasn't I? I'm pretty sure I was at the the Arcane University. Okay, so as long as I'm in the Arcane University, I will count that as Mage's Guild territory. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Uh, actually, you know what? It, it actually works because. Uh, if I go to the Arcane University now, uh, I'll be able to check on um, potentially the status of that, the status of that staff. That sounded cleverer, cleverer than it actually was. I was like, oh, status, because it starts with the same letters as staff. It, that's clever. No, it's not. <laughs> or, or was it? Let me know if you thought it was, <laughs> if you thought it was clever, then go ahead and leave a thumbs down. Uh, if you, but if you didn't, leave it a thumbs up. Yes, we're, we're, do, we're flipping things. We're flipping things. Thing, it, it's, yes. Up is down and down is up. If you thought it was clever, then unsubscribe. And if you're not subscribed, stay unsubscribe. <laughs> oh. Make sure to turn off that bell so you get no notifications of this crap. Uh, all right, uh, we, we're, we are now technically here, but because I want to check on the staff, we won't immediately uh, fast travel just yet. See, see, because I wanted to stick, uh, stick you know, uh, strictly to uh, adhere to my rules, uh, it me meant that I had time to remember that I had a staff here that I wanted to pick up. Uh, Mystic Archives is the next one over, right? Uh, wait. Was it lined up with the fires? I don't remember. No, this is yeah, this is the tower. No, this is made for us. I have some new information. In short, what you proposed is possible. Surely you're joking. Oh, I 
Are you sure? I mean, I'm excited by this news, of course, but think of the ramifications. There are, of course, some other mitigating factors, but I'll need to investigate a bit further. The overall impact on alchemy is a complete unknown. Let us part now and see what we can come up with separately. We'll meet some time later and compare notes. We'll speak again later, Apprentice. Now go. Your studies await. Press? No? See, that dialogue seemed very, um, it, feel, it felt less random. So I was like, oh, oh, wait, is, is, that, is that one of those, like, overhearing a quests? You know, the ones that I've gotten up till now w without actually hearing anything? <laughs> But, uh, no, okay, I didn't get anything out of that. That's, um, that's a shame. Or is, uh, ugh, practice rooms. It's all the way over here by the, uh, the alchemy place. Yeah. Alright, uh, are Hello, you, are you done? Mate. Welcome to the Caronasium. Can I help you? <laughs> this looks so creepy, it looks like she's just sort of, like, smiling behind, like, <laughs> I'm gonna eat you. <laughs> Holy crap! That looks so creepy. <laughs> All right, uh, made of stuff. Are you done it yet? I'm working on it. It'll be done soon. <sighs> I don't have time for soon. I've got to go. I've got, I've got, I've got places to be. Um. Okay. Well, we're going to Bruma to sell off some things. Um. It's gonna put me outside the gate, though. It's like, no, I want, I want to fast travel into. Bruma. I've got to be able to fast travel like right to the the Mages Guild, whatever. Eleven. Your horse is stable outside the city gate. Okay, thanks for letting me know. Um, eleven thirty-four a.m. So, oh, crap. I, I don't remember what time it was when I I didn't look up at the time before I left. Um, so yeah, fast travel is definitely not a teleport. It, it, like it. Uh, I guess it calculates out the, the amount of time it would take for you to get there, and then just goes ahead and, uh... Makes that amount of time pass. Um... Wait, I can't remember. Hi there! <sighs> I don't remember, is that is that our fence? It's whoever lives in this house, right? Ongar, right, Ongar! That sounds familiar. Ongar, wake up, I gotta sell you some things. Right, Ongar? With your little crown. I'm really tired. Can we get on with this? Yes, we can. But first, ah, I'm sorry. Shadow hide you. No, no, get up, get up. I need you to like me more first. I'm really tired. All right. Um. Yeah, my favorite customer. Mount, what do you got? A mount fenced. Doesn't seem like a whole lot. Uh, let's put this up by one. 51% of value. All right, let's let's sell some sell some things. I think I can move this item for you at that price. All right, there we go. Got anything else? A robe of uh, deflection. Like, do, am I ever gonna wear this? No, I'm not. D you deleted. You made a good bit of gold. Uh, restore. I made a ton. Okay. Uh, potion of cure paralysis. Uh. I have two more. Whatever. I think I can move this item for you at that price. Got anything else? Restore intelligence. I might as well sell this. Sell this. Mercantile skill increased. Um, what I really want to do though is I want to sell the, these these stolen things. Um. Now these. Okay, I, I, like, even though this is showing up as two different items because it's stolen, I doubt that these would both show up as the same item um, in alchemy, right? Because we did have a, an instance earlier where we were able to use bone meal with bone meal, right? To get all the effects. Okay, I'm actually going to hold off on the flower for now. I think I can move this item for you at that. <laughs> Remove this, uh, this, this, this hot bread. Sell my 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 my. <laughs> I think I can move this item for you at that price. Some uh, contraband corn. That sounds like an awesome punk band name. Contraband corn. <laughs> you.
You dr That's more Oh. Wait. Did I just sell a stolen pair, but then the normal pair? W were they stacked together? What if I sell one stolen rice? You've made a good bit of gold. It separated them out. So they were stacked together. But then when I sold one, it separated them into the, we'll say, the contraband rice. I think I can move this item for you at the, that price. And the, the, the we'll say, else? lawful rice. Uh, Luring Gaze, I don't need this. I, I've already a got good spell. price for a good customer. I mean, I technically don't need Beguile either. Charm 30 points. Actually, I don't know what my charm is right now. Um, Gold Nugget. Get rid of that. Well, that seems a fair price. I'm gonna hang on to the paintbrush for now. I'll hang on to the uh, repair hammers for now because I'm gonna be using them. Um, okay, so that does bring up the question then about the. Um, uh, where are you at? The alkanet flower. Okay, hold up. Um, I'm glad that's done. I need a nap. All right, uh. you have your nap. Sh Shadow hide me. All right, uh, let's take a look at. Alkanet flower. Uh, no. All right. So that that is that is counted separately hide you. in terms of uh, for alchemy. No, get up, get up. Keep liking me. I'm really tired. Yeah, my favorite customer. So amount fence 184. Got? I think um I can go ahead and uh, probably pick up a uh, a quest for that uh, a quest now uh, in relation to this. so let's. One more gold. I'm glad. Shadow hide you. All right, perfect. So now we can head back to, um, I guess, next time at night uh, in the Imperial City, we can. Um, Greetings to you. Uh, illusion skill increased. Hooray! Uh, yeah, next time we can um, maybe Today's get ourselves a. So let's hear it. Um, a quest, a Thieves Guild specific quest. I think that would be cool. Um, all right, I'm actually looking at the time here, so uh, and that's gonna have to be it for um, for today. Oh, yes. Your children will thank you for your help. Always got to help out Jork the Outcast. Here, have a coin. Thank you, kind lady. You're welcome. Go get yourself some shoes. Um, uh, but yeah, so that, that's gonna have to be it for uh, for today. Um, Good afternoon. Greetings, Dunmer. Greetings. Um, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you did not, leave it Good a thumbs down. Either way, let me know what you thought in the comment section. Next time, we're probably gonna go check in on yes. our um, our staff, and um, I don't know, probably kill some time in some way before we uh, we uh, jump into maybe some thieves guild. I'm, I'm, I I kind of want to mix things up with the, the thieves guild a little bit. Um, also, uh, it, Good day. Um, I'm Tolgan, herald to Countess Narina Carvain here in Bruma. She requests your company at your earliest convenience. Uh, I'm kind of busy doing my outro right now, buddy! Okay, what is this regarding? Countess Carvain would prefer if you speak to her in person. She also said to present you with this stipend as a taste of things to come. My lady holds court from 8 in the morning until 6 in the evening each day. That would be the best time to see her. Um, okay. Uh, I guess we'll inquire about her real quick first. The Countess is in attendance from 8 o'clock in the morning until noon, and then again from 3 o'clock in the afternoon until 8 each day. Not at all if what was If you written. wish to seek audience with her, please return at that time. You're also welcome to wait anywhere in the Great Hall. Good day. All right, well, we might do that next time, but, um, I, who knows? But until next time, I'd like to ask you all to, uh, game on. <laughs>